Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing great. On today's video, I am not only going to show you my handbag collection, but I'm also going to tell you about a challenge that I'm currently doing or working on that is going to last for 10 years. If you see me looking down, it is because I have some notes on all the things that I want to tell you, so I don't forget. On June 28th of 2013, I challenged myself to spend 10 years without buying a handbag. I know. And this means buy one single handbag until June 28th of doing this challenge for three years and one month. I have used up some of the many bags that I had back then. I have sold some of them to get back some money, but I still have enough handbags to last me for the next seven years. Yeah. Um, I used to have more than 20 handbags. Different handbags, different sizes, different colors, some of them same color. And I didn't use most of them. They were just in my closet getting dust and some of them even got um, ruined and I had to throw them away without having used them like more than five times because of the many many handbags that I own reason why I started this challenge because I had so many handbags that first I didn't have space to keep them I wasn't using them I have I, I had handbags that I sold without using them once they were brand Actually, I sold uh, the last one handbag that I bought. I bought it three years ago on June 2013 and for two years and a half I didn't use it. It was in my closet, it looked beautiful, but I haven't but I didn't use it once so I decided that I wanted part of the money back so I sold it but I lost money that is the other reason why I started this challenge because most of my handbags were not expensive as you can see there's a trend I buy an 
expensive things, but I buy many of them. So if you um, count the money, like one handbag, 10 euros, another handbag, 15 euros, and on and on and on, that makes a lot of money that I could have in my pocket and I don't have it because I chose to buy another handbag. And buying that last one and noticing I am not going to use this I have more than 20 handbags was what make, made me realize I had a problem it's like I like a handbag I like its color or maybe its pockets or whatever it is and I buy it and then it goes straight into my closet and I don't use it so that's why I counted my handbags I'm going to say able to not buy one single handbag for the next 10 years and not need it. So the rules of my challenge are very very simple. I cannot spend money on handbags, any type, totes, long, short, ha eh, the ones that are small for your hand non handbags no wallets and no um, makeup makeup pouches whatever you want to call them the ones that are small that you keep neither of them so uh, that, those are the rules and you would ask why also the wallets and the makeup pouches? Because I also have many of them. And when I started the challenge of not buying handbags, my mind just simply turned to wallets. But I have three big wallets. And around my house I have many of these small um, coin pouches or coin This is the wallet that I'm currently using. It has like three or four years. Yeah, it's used up, it has some wear and tear that works perfectly. It holds my money. my cards it does it's you I don't need a bunch of wallets I don't change wallets every day I wait until one of them just breaks down to use the other one so I don't need another two huge wallets or the coin pouches I don't even use them and I have a bunch around my room and around my house <sighs> so and makeup pouches I have so many that I have some that are one within the other and like matryoshka dolls just to keep uh, mm, q-tips or a bunch of stuff like it's too much I don't need them I don't use them all and it's just a lot of money that I could have in my pocket and I don't because I chose to buy stuff that I didn't need so 
so that's why the challenge and that's why the weird rules when I started the challenge I thought it was going to be a nightmare and in the beginning it was because at first as I told you I just changed from handbags to wallets and I had to tell myself no new rules no handbags no wallets no coin purses no nothing so then the car the crisis started I was feeling anxious I was looking at the handbag stores like a, I was some kind of drug addict on a, um, how you say that without the, their toes you know like a, a pretty bad time but it only lasted like a couple of days because I decided that instead of buying somebody else's design I started to draw my own uh, my own purse, the one that I would love and that I would want forever and ever and ever that maybe I would have in 10 years have to have someone to make it for me and so I made my mind think about the perfect handbag for me so that helped a lot some time went by and a day out of the blue I noticed that I was buying makeup that I didn't need and then I thought oh no I did it again I went I, I changed my it buying desire from handbags, wallets, and all that stuff to makeup. So again, I had to stop myself from buying makeup, face products, and all that stuff. It wasn't as hard, there wasn't a crisis. I was more aware of my spending habits and how my mind would trick me into thinking oh yeah I need that because blah 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 so now that I know how my mind tricks me into doing buying stuff that I don't need I am learning how to stop my mind from doing that if a mind says hey you should buy this I know I'm talking about my mind like a different person it's not I don't hear weird voices in my head it's just the thought process I'm trying to translate it for you so I will think hey I need this because blah 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 I stop myself I don't buy it and I'm like I've never did it this it's been months and years and I've never needed this so I don't need it now and I walk away from whatever store I mean to prevent my brain to find a new excuse and I focus on something else writing a video creating something drawing whatever anything except for that or I call a friend or I message someone I'm like hey how you doing how's your life going whatever just to keep my mind away from new excuses to buy I'm making this video for the same reason that I made a video of 
products I regret buying. So I can see physically and I have proof on the internet publicly of the bunch of handbags and stuff that I own. So I know, so I'm aware uh, of the huge collection of handbags that I have. And I know like many people have bigger collections. And I'm not saying they have a problem like I did and I'm not saying they need to stop because they have the money, they can do whatever they want, it's their life. I'm not judging anyone. I'm just doing this because I don't have the money and I need to be aware of my problem. I'm not saying that everyone who makes a video showing their makeup, their makeup, no, their handbag collection or any other collection, they have a problem. Some of them, it is their job. Some of them just enjoy this and they own many handbags. Wherever their reasoning is, it's fine with me. It's just that I need to make this video for myself. So I can acknowledge my problem and take charge of solving which I've been doing for three years and I've made this video before in Spanish but I wanted to share it in English too so I keep myself on track and you can keep me on track too you can comment down below saying hey and whatever you want to say And now I'm going to get into the real collection. I'm going to start with the one that I'm currently using. This, as you can tell, I enjoy big handbags because I fill them with a lot of stuff. Uh, I think you can see it's it looks dark it's a, actually a top color so if you have it in front of some colors it looks grayish blackish and if you use it with brown it looks brownish it's pretty versatile it was a present from a friend of mine and her boyfriend at the time uh, for my birthday it was like yeah three years ago and it has the things I love many pockets and security and huge space here's another pocket some of her two pockets. Right now I'm using it for for my job and I used it to go to a glass. And I hope you can see there's some wear and tear here. Here and obviously on the straps, like this is quite big for me, and I think this will last me until uh, the end of this year because it has strong holes for the stripes and I don't find that I stop liking 
a handbag with the wear and tear because it actually makes me feel like hey it's been used it's been well used and it's and it has made its job so I really really like it and but when the straps break down or maybe the zipper something like that breaks down I will not fix it I will just throw it away now this is I have to be careful with this one because I will carry my computer in here and yes this is a backpack a normal backpack with a pocket the two side fish and the big I use backpacks as handbags too. right now I'm using this to carry my computer back and forth one was gifted again to me by my brother last year on my birthday I was already like two years and a half into my challenge and I was really wanting a owl backpack and he decided to gift it to me we actually bought it through the internet so I didn't expect it to arrive on my birthday but it did so it was a great gift it has normal um, straps yeah I think they are called straps too so this is these are the two that I'm currently using This one, another present. This is from 10 years ago. As you can tell, it's great shape. It was gifted to me by my friends. And it has been for 10 years with me. It's been washed, worn, used. It came with me to England for a month it's amazing even though it looks smaller than the other one it holds a lot of stuff it has many many pockets too one two three here is where it holds a lot another pocket and two other pockets as you can tell here, the lining is actually losing its color. After 10 years, I think it's pretty normal. And I use this one uh, for, for whenever I'm not going to work, so I don't uh, carry so much stuff or so heavy or big stuff it's for more small for going on small trips or going to the mall or doing some kind of stuff I take my wallet and I think my phone put it here and get to go well it also has um, these pockets that work also work I use them for tissue for my sunglasses and stuff like that and I love it it's been actually more than 10 years with me and I freaking love it it's amazing it has I don't know it's amazing third
this is another huge hat and bag, another present from three years ago when I started the challenge. On September, my friends decided to help me with my crisis and put this for my for me on my on my birthday. And it's funny because it actually looks a lot like the one that I draw that I drew that I drew as my favorite handbag, as my dream handbag with the long straps, the zipper, the pocket here, and another pocket on top of that pocket. And also when you open it, there's this beautiful lining on the pocket and a huge space. You can actually fit a baby in here. Yeah, don't ask me how I know that. And another thing that, and it also has this uh, long strap to wear it as a cross bag, which, as you can tell, I haven't used because these very long straps. I do a lot is to keep bags inside of that bags as I told you like material schedules and this handbag is one that I haven't used once but I hold it very dear to my heart because it says London Metropolis and I actually bought it online on a shop in London as a memory I went when I was 15, I went there for a month and I just fell in love, but I haven't used it once, it has nice side, big, I mean, it is a small bag, but it's big and I can't sell it or give it away or throw it away it's my London bag. I haven't big I haven't been back to England ever since so I will never get rid of it. Probably when I'm done with all these handbags I will use it for many years. And it's nice, right? Well, I own three of these, and as you can tell, I don't use the three of them. <laughs> I love them, like the whole pockety thing. The out from one that bag and put it into another. I love these things, but I don't need three. Even though they were cheap, because I bought them like three euros each, and I bought them on three different occasions, I still don't need them. So, that makes four five handbags and there's a bunch to go on so the next one is another brown handbag which is smaller but it is also big on the inside this was gifted to me uh, by my boyfriend's mother on my birthday too like this last year one? no 
yeah, two years ago. I love it. It's very high quality. I don't know if you can tell through, but it's very high quality because she, she used to work at a handbag store, so it's very high quality. It also has the long strip that I used once because I was going like on some kind of trip and this was useful to me to carry on and keep going, you know. But I usually carry my handbags like this. I usually can't do this because it's full of stuff. But it's amazing. It has gorgeous gold, well, goldish uh, hardware. And amazing. Yes. I love it. I will stop saying I love it because I love all of them. So, this is six handbags. Oh wait, inside of that handbag I have my YouTube that bag. Yeah. It is this kind of handbag. was given to me by YouTube when I went this March uh, to a to YouTube Creators Day at Madrid and they gifted us each one of these and I've used them quite a bit to go to the beach or to give not very important stuff to carry like a folder, a small folder with some writings or stuff that I have to bring to someone. This is the seventh handbag. Well, I do show it and I do count it, but if I run out of handbags, and this was my last chance I would buy a handbag because I would not be able to feel safe with this piece of cloth carrying all my sport and stuff like my phone, my wallet and all that stuff. So that's seven. Let's go for it. Another big handbag. This is a fake handbag. I don't have the money for the original ones. Even though if I had it, I would buy it. But not right now because I'm on my challenge. But I would. So this handbag was in, in fashion, or fashion. It was a fashion here in Spain back in 08, 09 something like that everyone had one of these fake handbags and I loved it so I kept talking about it, talking about it, talking about it until my mom decided to gift it to me so here it is, it is and it has one pocket thing. But here's the thing. When I finally got it and I started filling it up, I noticed what when you fill it up as much as I do, the sides like this. So when you're carrying it like this, someone could 
slider hand. And get your stuff out without you noticing. So, whenever I started, I used it, I used it, I just felt insecure, like someone could steal me, could steal stuff from me. So, I only use it when I go with my boyfriend, with my brother or someone with me so they can watch over my hand like a bodyguard it's like, girl, get a grip so this is the 8th yeah, 8 and I still have a bunch to go yeah. I think my camera is going to run out of battery before I run out of handbags. Nice. Another present from my friends. Yeah. My friends know what I like. Okay, it's this one. This was another fashion here in Spain. This one is way safer than the other because you can actually um, lock it with a lock. And I think, yeah, I took the lock and the key and I have it somewhere else. But it's white. And here's the problem with white you can't tell on the camera, but it looks yellow. And I have tried to clean it. It's huge. This handbag is huge, by the way. I can fit a baby here too. Or a small animal, like a cat. So, it also fits right here. It's huge. And the problem is that it looks yellow. I have tried to clean it. It's not leather or anything. It's fake. However that's called. And if anyone knows how to clean it up, please let me know. So this is handbag number nine. one came with a, a luggage bag and uh, it's a carry-on, it has the size to go inside a plane this big, so I mean it's like I could take this on a weekend trip pocket and I use it every time I travel to carry inside the plane. It has this thing and it has a long strap. It's a carrier. The, the how do you say that? The luggage, the, the other the big one, it broke down, it got completely destroyed from using it so much. And this one still as brand new. It was very cheap. It, ah, it also has this thing on the back, so you can pull the the luggage um, thing to pull from it and put it right there. You hide it. And you can bring everything together without having any problem. I only use, in, use it for travel, but in case of need I would use it to go to work, to, get, to take my computer, which fits, I've tried. I've checked every single one of my handbags and purses and everything, and backpacks, if I can 
if they can hold my computer. Most of them can. So, yeah. That makes ten. Now, this small um, backpack. It has one pocket, one thing. And it was another fashion. This one I bought myself when I was 16. I bought it. Yeah, no, I was 15 still. I was 15, I bought it, so it's more than 10 years. And I used it as a handbag, then I kind of grew out of it. But it's still in pretty good shape. It's like brand. It has some uh, stains that I don't know how to get off because it is so old. But right now I'm using it to go swimming in the not uh, as leisure but as keeping myself healthy, where you have to wear the hat. The hat. You know, so eleven. Okay. Oh, this one is heavy. So this one is another brown computer handbag. This one is kind of very used up because I used it to go to college and I would carry my computer, my books, notebooks, everything. So it is very strong. It has many button kits like two, one, one, two and I'm not using it to go there anymore because because I'm using the other one and I use this one because it's still holding up very good and I do is I have my notebooks in here and some stuff and I use it to carry around the house I also have a pocket here and two more on the other side This one I bought it myself when I was going to start college. And while I was using this one, I saw another one and I went ahead and bought it. And you know the deal. This one stayed home, the new one was used, blah blah blah. The other one I used up. This is the twelfth, twelfth, and left. This one is not exactly a handbag, but they called it a handbag. So right now I'm using it to hold some stuff that I'm going to sell. I'm going to the second hand shop. You call it the, the mm, it's not good wheel, it's the place where you sell your stuff and somebody else buys it. There. So this is the handbag and I bought it also to go to college to carry all my books and stuff. But because it was very light so it wouldn't add weight and you can put it inside of here it's an easy bag and you can turn it into a small packet the problem was the first time I used it that the 
straps carve into my shoulder so it's very painful I only choose it once for that and then it stayed home uh, to be holding my other hand so now I have hey, two more handbags that I'm going to sell I will not even show those because uh, those I don't consider part of my collection because they are going to be sold so that's 13 and for the last one the 14th I have this beach bag which is freaking huge did you see the end? because it wasn't it's huge it's plastic it's huge I can hold like three babies inside of here or a bunch of puppies so and this word I bought it again on an impulse I didn't care I, I use it but right now I use my backpack because it's more comfortable on my shoulders so this one stays at home I keep all my beach stuff in here and when I'm going to the beach I take it out and put it in my in my backpack because these straps are awfully painful painful in, on my shoulder so that's 14 now I'm going to show you one last that is not a handbag but I want to show it to you anyway one. This is my tripod um, thingy. <laughs> I put my hand tripod in here. Right now I'm using it. And this one I made it myself because my tripod came with its own case. It's not a case, but it came with it. But it started breaking down. So I thought if I if I buy I will start like finding a new excuse like a case for this a case for that I know the word is not a case it's something else please comment down here so I asked my mom to teach me how to do one by myself and it's actually a video that you can watch if you click in the link in the comment section in the comment section now in my info box I will leave it there it's in Spanish but you can actually see me do this and I did a pretty decent job it's working and it's holding pretty well she helped me a lot and we used there this the remember the word that we used this because it wasn't broken what was bro breaking down from the other one was this part where the tripod goes and I wanted to show you this because this happened because I didn't want to give my brain a new excuse to, to waste money on small stuff that I can do myself and as an example of all the times that we think we need we think we need something and we go out and buy it and it's very simple but we've lost the money my man had this cloth at home from some other project he did and she had this laying around and she said we can use this and I said great I don't have to buy any perfect and without spending 
anybody because she had this we used this and we were at home doing it I have I can keep my tripod I carry it anyway and I have the money in my pocket so that makes 14 handbags with backpacks and all that stuff and one uh, tripod case so not that you that I restart not now that you've seen me show my issue publicly can you think of something that is happening similar to you? Are you buying too many video games? Um, I don't know, makeup that you don't need? Notebooks? I also have the notebook problem. All that stuff. If you have it, count it and tell me how long can you go without buying a single one of those and not need it. I can tell you it's a long time. Could you pl could you go for 10 years like I can? I obviously can. Like I have 14 handbags for 7 years. I obviously can. Please answer all of these questions in the comment section down below. And last but not least, I want to say that with this video I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad about themselves, feel like they don't have as many stuff as I do because I've lost other stuff because of buying handbags I'm not trying to brag what I'm trying to do is what's the word? inspire you to find whatever your weakness is and fight it to save yourself a lot of money to be better to to be stronger to know that you can if you need support encouragement or just someone to tell hey I'm going to do this challenge because you inspired me and I need someone to know can let me know through my comment section down below or through my social media or through my email I am here for you and I want to help you that's why I'm making this video so you don't feel alone like you are the only one who has some type of issue we are not we all have our own thing so Hope this was helpful you can find me through my whole social media my email anything if you liked it and you want to see more videos like this share it on your social media and subscribe thank you for watching and see you in two weeks <laughs>